Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing kind of like a smoky eye type deal. Like these are looks that I'm like really good at. So like this should go pretty well. So if you want to see what look I create, then let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing I like to do when I do my makeup and everything, I like to start with my eyes. And for that, I'm going to prime my eyes using the Eyeshadow Primer Potion by Urban Decay. And I, I only do this, like, when I'm, like, doing a really fancy look. Like, I never usually prime my eyes. I mean, I do. I do prime my eyes whenever I do a look during the day or if I'm just doing like a natural look if when I'm doing like a full glam I like to use my primer potion so after that I'm going to take my Neutrogena a translucent oil control powder it looks like that I like to take it on a Morphe MB17 and it's just a flat top brush like that like nothing too fancy and I just go like that and I just go in and I just set my whole eye so that the primer doesn't move and then we have a nice solid base to work with so after that i'm gonna go in i think i'm gonna use the morphe 15n palette it looks like that it has some really pretty shades in here it looks like that this is in their holiday collection and I really love this palette. I think it's a really nice one to have. The first shade I'm going to go into is called Custom. It looks like that. I'm going to take it just on a fluffy brush like this. I'm just going to dip in there. And I'm going to go into my crease. I like to go in like circular motions. And I like to barely touch my eye. Like, I think I just get a better result. And just go in. And, and do that with my eye. And do it with the other eye. These shadows are like really pigmented, so you don't need to go in with a heavy hand. You need to go in with like a lighter hand because then you can always add more. So after I'm always done with my transition, I have to go in with the MB23. It's a brush that just looks like this. This is one brush that I always always use i never use it for shadows i just use it to blend on my edges this is my blending brush i always always use it because i think it is just really nice and it blends out things super nicely too so after you have your transition in i like to go in with a more defined brush and it's a Morphe brush. It came in like a set. It was the 12-piece eye set. So this is the next brush I'm going to take. It's more tapered and more precise to get in there. Go in. I'm going to mix opal and golds together. I'm going to mix these two right here. This one and that one. And I just dip in here. I just get my brush all done. And then I tap it off. And then I just go right in the crease with it. And I just it wiggle it around. As you can see, it is super pigmented. So you don't you need to go in with a very light hand. And I say this is good. Like you don't need to go in anymore because of how pigment they are. And get back into my shade. So after you have that, I mean it's not super precise or anything. I'm gonna go back in with my first brush that I use. And I'm just going to dip into my custom shade, the transition shade. And I'm going to blend everything out together. So there's no harsh edges. So everything is just seamlessly. So then I'm going to go back into my Morphe MB23. And I'm just going to blend out my edges for what we just did. And so that... We have no harsh edges. Now when you do this, you, you don't really need to press that hard. You just need to go back and forth and do like circular motions and the windshield wiper motions at the same time. So the next brush I'm going to take, it is more of a fluffier brush and it looks like that. It came in my 
12 piece set. And we're going to go in with that shade right there. It's called Hello. And you don't need much product. You just want to dip it in and dust it off. And then we're going to put it right in our outer, outer V. And we'll just brush it in there like so. Dip back in there and do it to the other eye. You want to make sure you always tap up your brush so that you don't have so much product that you can't do anything with it. And then I'm going to go in just with the transition shade and I'm just going to blend everything together. I'm not going to go back into my shade that I'm not going to dip back in because you don't want to put it on top. I just want to blend things together nice and seamlessly so we don't have any harsh edges. And so this would be the perfect thing to do. And then I'm going to go in with my MB23 and just blend edges out at the very edge. Not where we just blended the super far out part. Like so. And then I'm going to take, this is my first time using this so I don't know how well it's going to go. It's, it is the Maybelline Color Tattooed Eye Chrome. It looks like that. It is super pretty, so I'm going to see how well this goes. I'm going to put this on the inner part of my eye. So now that I have it on both eyes, I'm going to go in with the dark brush and I'm just going to blend the edges out. I'm going to do it ever so slightly. And then I'm going to go in with my transition brush. And I'm going to work up top a little bit. And try to blend the harsh edges out. And my master chrome. I'm going to dip back in this eye because I kind of went a little crazy with my chrome and then I'm gonna go back in with my MB 23 and I'm just gonna blend out my edges and that should pretty much complete your eye look I think that this thing is really nice I think it's better than be honest I didn't like the Sila glitters because they didn't dry fast enough for me and I used it like four times and every time I put it on it always get up super high and I'm just like I don't have time to sit here and let it dry for half an hour like I need something more quick to go so I honestly think this is a really good product I'm gonna go finish my face makeup off camera and I'll be right back okay so I'm back I have all my face makeup done besides my eyes and my highlights so let's finish off these eyes let's do the lower lash line so the, for the lower lash line i'm gonna go in with the color hello right there and i'm actually gonna take it that's not that brush i'm gonna take it on a flat top brush like that and i'm gonna dip in there make sure to tap it off and i'm just gonna smudge it right up against my lash line like, I don't want to go much lower than that, but if you do get a little bit lower, then that's okay. And we're just going to do the same to the other eye. And then I'm going to go in with, I'm just going to take our crease shade brush, and I'm just going to dip into goals. And tap it off. Goals is that one right there. I'm just going to dip my brush into that. Tap it off. And I'm just going to go right underneath my darkest shade. And then I'm going to go in with the transition brush. And I'm just going to blend it. I'm not going to dip into it at all. I'm just going to blend, blend it out. Like so. And then that should do it for the eyeshadow. 
Then I'm gonna go and take my Morphe eyeliner in Dark Room. It is just a really dark black. And I'm just gonna take it. I need I need my mirror. I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna put it in my waterline. So then after that, I'm just gonna take my lash curler. I have the Revlon lash curler. I I did have an e.l.f. one, but it just was not, it wasn't that great. And I'm going to take a new favorite mascara. It's the Voluminous Lash Paradise. It looks like that. This is such a great mascara. I love this stuff. I've been using it ever since I've gotten it. And it just makes your lashes so full and so, I don't know, just like perfect. It is. It basically is like the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara because I have the Too Faced, but that was my first one of my first mascaras that I got, and that was high end. And don't get me wrong, I love the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara, but this literally does the same exact thing, and it's just bomb diggity. I missed the thing. So then next, I'm going to go into the Spotlight Palette by Casey Holmes. It has those beautiful shades. And I'm going to take my Flawless Concealer Brush, and I'm going to dip into this shade right here. And I'm just going to highlight my cheeks. Then I'm going to take a Morphe pencil brush and I'm going to take the first shade right here, the lightest shade, and I'm going to stick that into my inner corner and also underneath my brow bone. And now I'm just going to put some setting spray on and just fan it out. So there you have it. This is your final look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, yeah, it was a really easy look to achieve. It wasn't that hard. If you didn't want to use the color tattoo eye chrome from Maybelline, you, there's so many different options that you could use. You could have just used the shadow from a palette that you already have. You don't need to go out and buy this, but it worked really well for me. I really do enjoy it. I probably will be using this again. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button down below. And I'll catch you on my next video. Bye.